Well, good morning guys, back out here. Um, we're a little bit uh, behind where I live. Um, purpose today was to go out and look for uh, an eagle nest that I, uh, I had seen last year, and uh, I haven't been out there since, and I wanted to uh, go out today and see if uh, it was still occupied, and if uh, the eagles had returned um, to, to lay eggs in that same nest as last year. Uh, as you can see, we're here in uh, belly button high snow again, so uh, I think it's about time for me to throw on the snowshoes and uh, head on out there, and we'll see if, uh, see if those eagles are still there. As you can see, they already make such a difference. No shoes make just such a difference. Probably in like two and a half, three feet worth of snow right now. And I'm only uh, depressing a few inches as we walk out here. Even with all the extra weight from the bag, it's just, it's just such a necessity out here this time of year. But uh, got about probably a thousand yard march back out into where this nest was last year. See if uh, see if they're still hanging out there. Okay, so we are walked all the way out to uh, the river and uh, I'm just sitting under the eagle's nest right now. Um, it's not occupied at the moment, but uh, it looks like it's been uh, it's like freshly manicured. Um, it's so massive, but uh, I'm gonna get the, the big lens out, get set up, get the tripod set up and uh, see if we can uh, wait the mom and the dad out. So let's do it.
Whew, there it goes. So, believe it or not, I'm standing up right now. But I uh, wanted to take this chance before the mom and dad get back to throw on the ghillie suit. Not that I think it's gonna make that much of a difference. Not with the eagle's incredible eyesight, but I figure it can't help, right? So, I'm just gonna throw the top on, because obviously the bottom's pretty well concealed. And uh, we'll see if they show up. I mean, uh, the whole purpose really of today is uh, more of a scouting mission. Um, I know that it's this time of the year that they, uh, they start to nest up and lay their first eggs, you know, one or two eggs. Um, and uh, I don't expect any phenomenal pictures today. It's uh, really just to come out here, mark a uh, location on the GPS so I know exactly where they are, and uh, maybe get some images of the nest and uh, see if they actually show up. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't expect any like high class images, but uh, I'd be stoked just to see them, you know? The eagles head so far south when uh, it starts to get deep winter here that I don't get a chance to see them over uh, the last few months, so. Who knows? Uh, worst case scenario, we're sitting by a beautiful river right now. It's just starting to thaw out. We're sitting in waist high snow, sitting uh, in nature. I got the journal. So uh, let's see what happens. Let's get the lens hood on, then uh, hunker on in. Right now, this ghillie suit's more for warmth than it is for camouflage. I, like I said, I'm sure wherever those eagles are, they probably can see me. <laughs> could be miles away and still see me but uh, just since I took my gloves off they've already frozen um, so that's kind of a pain in the ass but uh, weather right now it's uh, in the low teens um, the storms have finally passed when I left the house this morning it was snowing uh, it was snowing pretty hard but uh, the cloud coverage is starting to break up so hopefully we'll get some decent light if they do show up. You know, a little tip when you're looking for eagle's nests is uh, A, the size. I mean, normally you can you can see them from, from a long ways away because of just how massive eagle's nests are. But also look for the super canopies. Um, eagles will generally build their nests in the tallest tree in that general area. So rather than looking, you know, mid forest, like sometimes you do with owls, look, uh, look along the tips. Scan the very top of the super canopies and uh, Look for that massive hunk. You know, it's hundreds of pounds. Eagle's nests are, are absolutely huge. So, uh, in my opinion, they're one of the easiest uh, nests to find, just based off the sheer size. But uh, focus your attention towards the super canopies. Don't, don't waste your time looking like halfway through. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, they can grow to be hundreds of pounds, many feet wide. And that's it's really all to just accommodate you know one or two uh, one or two eagles when they hatch. And uh, another little fun fact is uh, I didn't know this until recently. Eagles can live to be 20 or 30 years old, and in captivity they've been known to live as long as 50 years. So I mean I can't even can you imagine like a bird living that long, especially in such a harsh environment? I just absolutely love eagles. I would love to get the chance to. Uh, to show you guys this pair if they come back. But uh, just getting set up now. I'm gonna turn uh, the little camera off and uh, try to shut my big fat mouth and hopefully these eagles uh, pay us a visit. So, let's see. So, uh, really good sign. I just heard an eagle uh, screech off in the distance. It was pretty far away, but that's a really good sign that they're, they're at least in the vicinity. Um, so I got my Garmin out. I'm gonna mark this lat long location so uh, I can come back here and, uh, and get pictures when the chicks hatch. So that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna bust out the journal and uh, write it all down and then uh, go back to sitting here quietly. to have already been laid, but uh, 
I definitely think there's a pair of mating eagles in that nest. And uh, what's so cool about eagles is they, uh, they actually mate for life. Um, now, I mean, typically they mate for life. Sometimes uh, another female will come in, but uh, barring one of the eagles getting hurt or injured or dying, um, they're gonna stay together for, you know, after the first five years and their plumage turns white and they become mature. That's when they'll uh, meet their mate. But give this uh, a few more hours and uh, we'll see if they show up. So it's been uh, it's been right around two two hours and fifteen minutes. Um, still no luck, no joy with the eagles. Um, I heard them once or twice while I was sitting here, but uh, they they haven't came yet. So this was a, I mean this is a prime example of what I was talking about in my uh, wildlife tips video. Is uh, you are not always going to come out and see animals, um, no matter no matter how good your chances are. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. Uh, a known eagle's nest that was uh, frequented, frequented pretty heavily last season and uh, nothing so far. Um, I'm not really ready to call, call and quits yet. Um, getting a little bit cold. Uh, I got some pretty nice insulated sweat or uh, snow pants on, but uh, give it a couple hours and uh, I'll be ready to tap out for sure. But uh, it's just it's really nice to be out here. Um, hopefully you guys are having a chance to get out and enjoy nature even if it's just like a, a walk through the backyard or on like a hiking trail or whatever you guys have local to you um if you haven't been getting out um i highly recommend you do it but in like obviously a safe way get out there get some fresh air get some exercise you just i, I already feel better i was getting so cooped up in that house making those dang office videos um let me know what you guys think do you guys prefer when we come out here and we do uh things like scouting and uh looking for eagles nests or fox dens or uh have you guys been enjoying some of those office videos where we uh stay at home and uh, i try to teach you just uh little things that that i've picked up over the last years um if you could just like i said let me know in the comments below i'd be really interested in knowing what you guys uh what you guys are enjoying um i'm gonna give this about one more hour um and if worse worse comes to worst i'll just pack up and get out of here it looks like we have a storm rolling in but uh Let's give this a few more hours and see what happens. All right, so I am officially freezing. Um, unfortunately, no eagles showed up. Not one in sight, I can't hear one. And uh, my butt is numb. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm actually gonna pack up and head on out of here. Um, can't really feel my, uh, my toes either. So uh, what I'll do is I'll throw up uh, some eagle images from last season at the end of this video as a consolation, just for you guys sticking it out with me. Um, we know this eagle nest is here now, and uh, I'll be able to do many more scouting trips here with uh, fingers crossed hopes of uh, having them show back up. But uh, thanks for coming along. Hopefully uh, you guys learned a little something about eagles, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.